He ended up writing a review and posting it on his blog and said it was uh, the best VR experience the world has ever seen. Well, I mean, that's been my that was always my dream in the in the old in, you know my first company was Oculus, and so like that was my dream was to just fully feel like you were inside of the video game. Completely forget about it. So I started building virtual reality headset prototypes when I was 14 or 15. And then I, I built the first prototype of what I'd call the Oculus Rift at 16. And then I formally turned it into a company when I was 18, launched the product when I was 19, uh, and then sold the company a few years later to Facebook for a few billion dollars. Kind of a, it was kind of a crazy arc for me. Yeah, so, well, Carmack was... So uh, John Carmack was one of my heroes growing up. Love that dude. And it was one of these crazy things where the universe kind of brought us together. It was working on my VR technology and nobody was paying attention to VR back then. It was a kind of a crazy person thing. Nobody was paying attention to what I was doing, but I was posting about it on this internet forum. And then John Carmack started posting on that same forum, asking for help modifying his own Sony head mounted display that he had bought to reduce the latency. And so I gave him a bunch of input on why he couldn't do it, why it was a large, impossible project, and because I had been trying to do the same thing. And then he ended up seeing the work I was doing on the Oculus Rift. And he said, hey, Palmer, can I buy one of these from you? I said, well, I'm not really selling these yet, but uh, I'm, I'd be happy to lend it to you for free. And so I sent it to him. He ended up writing a review and posting it on his blog and said it was uh, the best VR experience the world has ever seen. Um, and then so J John was kind of the guy who got me like really, he's kind of the first guy who got any public attention for me where everyone was like, oh, John Carmack says this is important, then this must be important. And then if you could believe it, two years later, after I started Oculus and started selling these, he actually left id Software and became the CTO of Oculus. So yes. we got, then, then I then I had the, the, the incredible opportunity to work with one of my childhood heroes as my CTO.